Hello once again, Dynamic Family. My name is Dynamo, and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. We are back with part three of our Sekiro Shadows Die Twice playthrough. We had just defeated the good General Tenzin over here. Uh, we had a little bit of trouble with him. We died like, what, once or twice to him? I believe it was like once. But uh, yeah, we finally managed to beat him. We were just running around uh, Ashina looking for our good young master who was taken by General Genichiro Ashima uh, beforehand, and we had lost our arm, and we had woken up in the little shack with the um, the sculptor, and he had given us the prosthetic arm and all that kind of stuff, and then after that we have just been kind of roaming around, defeating enemies, and uh, gaining, gaining little items here and there, and uh, yeah, we're basically not... I'm not sure where we're supposed to go next from here. I'm going to have to explore around a little bit. But uh, yeah, we had just gotten in here and then defeated a couple enemies and then got another prayer bead, which is nice. And that was basically where we left off. Also, a heads up, uh, I do, if you haven't noticed, I look a lot better in terms of like my face cam because I've gotten a lot of stuff sorted. Uh, I actually got a uh, Elgato capture card. Um, for those of you who don't know who this is, it's basically, I'll just show you right here. A little capture card that lets me... Um, stream my gameplay in like HD and all that kind of stuff, which is really, really neat. And it makes it so much easier for me to record. It's like amazing. I can just do my face cam recording and my gameplay recording all in one. It makes it like so much easier. So like for any of you who are going into the process of maybe thinking about doing YouTube, I would highly suggest getting an Elgato capture card. Me, I'm doing the HD 60S Plus. So if anybody out there is wondering what I am using, that is what I'm using for the moment. My intros and outros will be looking a little bit different because I'm going to try and figure out what this is all about, just letting you guys know that. So uh, if it looks a little bit funky and it's not exactly what you're used to coming into this, that's the reason why. So. Just, just letting you guys know that, but uh, yeah, without any further delay, let's get right back into this game. And I can finally wear uh, my headphones again, because I no longer have to use a flash drive to record my gameplay anymore. It does it all in one over here. So, we uh, did not explore this area. What is this? Divine confetti. Confetti imbued with a divine blessing made for driving away apparitions. The paper is made ceremoniously, whereby pulp is spread thin using water from the exalted fountain head. As the gods bless the water, so too will the confetti bless one who basks in its touch, allowing attacks to connect with apparition-type enemies. Are we fighting ghosts out here? Ghosts and shit? Hey, yo? I want to fight some ghosts. Ooh, what's this? Temple posting. Turn back if you value your life. You can't behead the headless. Our swords and pikes did nothing. You can't behead the headless? Watch me. Watch me do it. The remnant over here. Um. Oh, that might be where we go next. That I'm pretty sure that's where we're going next. Okay. Um, before I do that, I'm actually going to head back to our resting spot because we are very, very low in health and I'm not going anywhere else without getting it. Because if we die, we're gonna have to spawn all the way back here and that's no fun. As well as we need to go back to the sculptor because there are a few things we need to do. Um, I believe he can give me a upgrade from my prosthetic if I'm not wrong. So we're gonna rest here. There we go. Can't if it, yep, because we don't have four. All right, and then, oh, sorry, I forgot to travel. We're going to travel back to the Sculptor. Dilapidated Temple. And we'll go see what we can do from there. Here we are. All right. Oh, who's this? Hello? You truly returned from the dead. The power of the dragon's blood. I never thought I'd see it with my own eyes. Who are you? My name is Emma. I am a doctor. Oh. Master. What master? Forgive me, but for his safety, I cannot reveal his identity. Bro, we already know who it is. <laughs> my master gave explicit orders to assist you in any way I can. I'm not telling you to trust me, however. I must fulfill my master's orders. The gourd of medicinal water you possess, that was originally a creation of mine. I am a doctor, oh. and I will assist you in that capacity. Oh, 
she's gonna give us more healing gourd. Okay. Okay, very cool. All right, sweet. You made this gourd. Yes. It was intended for Lord Kuro, but it seems he entrusted it to you. I'm sure you may have noticed, but the medicinal waters in this gourd spring forth on their own. Even after being emptied, you will find it full again after a short rest. Yes. Is there a way to improve it? Bring me gourd seeds. Gourd mm. seeds? Yes. Mm -hmm. Medicinal waters flow from gourd seeds. Adding new seeds will increase the volume of these medicinal waters. If you find any, bring them to me. All right. Oh, I got plenty. Yes. Is this a gourd seed? Yes. Bring it here. Plant the seed into the gourd. Perfect. Now the volume of medicinal waters in your gourd will increase. Hey! Oh, strange medicine. Is it strange? <laughs> I don't take any offense to that. If it's effective, then that's cause for celebration, whether it's strange or not. That's what my mentor Dogen taught me. I see. Please bring hmm. me any other gourd seeds you find. I should be able to further increase the volume of the medicinal water. I have a few more, yeah? Yep. Okay, I don't have any more. Okay. Alright. Hold like Zoster dialogue. Quest. What is it? Please show me your face. What? Hmm. Um. This white mark. Is it a birthmark? No. Then. That must mean it appears on those who have received the dragon's heritage. Or perhaps it's a symptom. <sighs> Are you done? Yes, yeah, that will be all. I'm sorry. That was rather rude of me. He was not pleased. Yeah, I was wondering about that white mark on his face too. I'm like, is there like ash stuck to his face? Is this like a God of War kind of situation where like the ashes of his dead family like stuck to his face or something like that? But. I don't know. Maybe it is kind of like what you said. If it's like we receive the dragon's blood or something like that. I don't know. We'll find out later, maybe. Oh, did I hear the ringing of a chime? It was probably this bell. I was told to offer it to Buddha. Does the bell hold any significance for you? If it does, talk to the sculptor. He is quite knowledgeable when it comes to Buddha. Alrighty. Thank you, Emma. All right, so this is where we go to if we want to increase our little health bar, which is great. And then, yeah, we'll talk to the sculptor real quick, see what he has to say. Mm, what is it? Seems to me your battle sense has returned. You're more like a shinobi than before, if only a little. Take this. Shinobi Esoteric Text, a book of secrets that details a variety of techniques employed by Shinobi, grants the ability to learn Shinobi-style skills. Within this text are innermost secrets of the Shinobi arts, such as attacks performed in the air and hiding one's body to avoid detection. Such moves could never be practiced by samurai. What is it? Hmm. Shinobi techniques recorded within are fighting techniques that cannot be performed by samurai. Hmm. Whether you make use of them or not is up to you. Shinobi aren't the only ones with their own fighting techniques. Very cool, very cool. Uh, owning an esoteric text of a combat style will allow its skills to be acquired in the Sculptor's Idol skill menu. Each enemy defeated provides skill experience. Skill points are acquired once enough experience is, uh, is gained, which can be spent to unlock skills. Some skills can also be learned by obtaining items or defeating enemies. Alrighty, very cool. I found Anything one. else, one? A Shinobi tool... Yes. I said before that your prosthetic arm was a fang, but by fitting shinobi tools to your arm, you'll be able to change the form of that fang. Thick shields, break them into splinters, swift foes, bring them down from afar. Fitting more devices means more ways to slay your enemies. If there's someone that needs killing, there's a proper way to kill them. That's all there is to it. I like this guy. Seems you know this prosthetic very well. I should calm myself. The more I <laughs> see bloodshed, the more demonic my sculptures will become. Give it here. I'll fit that tool for you. Alright, fit prosthetic tool. 
Uh, regular Shinobi tools found in the world can be especially adapted to the Shinobi prosthetic via the Fit Prosthetic Tools menu. Oh, yes, one thing I forgot to mention. So I did find some items in the world um, when I was just going around and like practicing on enemies. One of them was the Lord of Shuriken. It was in the... Oh, um... If you remember the area where the dogs were at, there was an area like right above that that I forgot to go into. And there was a body and I picked this up on him. Uh, I also picked up two other items. I'll show you in just a minute, but uh, for now we will do this. Uh, create Lord Shuriken. Yes, please. No matter what I do, any Buddha I carve is an incarnation of wrath. Thus is the fate of those who owe a deep karmic debt. You will understand when you try carving one for yourself one day. So, need something? Uh, already got all that. Yes, right. That kind-faced Buddha you see over there, don't do anything funny with it. Prosthetic tool. Prosthetic tools are shinobi tools adapted for use with the shinobi prosthetic. They can be equipped in the equipment menu and using them consume spirit emblems. Uh, open quick menu, use prosthetic tool, and then switch prosthetic tool. Okay, open the equipment menu. Prosthetic tool equipment slots have been unlocked. There are three slots available to equip and switch out prosthetic tools as needed. On the equipment se uh, selection screen, the controls can be viewed through Y. Okay, load of shuriken. Okay, cool, whenever I press Y, I, I can't use it here because it's a safe spot, so that's fine. Alrighty, uh, and then, what the hell was that? Spirit emblems? Spirit emblems are required to activate prosthetic tools and are consumed each time these abilities are used. Spirit emblems can be obtained by defeating enemies in the world and purchased from sculptors' idols. If you pass near them, they will find their way to you. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was really weird. There's just that light that just came out to me. Uh, and then the other two items that I found were the Gachin Sugar. Um, if you guys want to pause this and, and read it, you can. I'm not going to be too much on that. And then there was one more item that I found. Or maybe that was it. Maybe those were the two items that I found. Yeah, it was the Shinobi tool and then it was that. So yeah, I found those uh, while I was exploring around uh, on my own time. And uh, I will show you guys where to find the shuriken actually. Let me just go here real quick. Uh, the Acquire Skills menu has been unlocked in the Sculptor's Idol menu. New skills can be learned by spending skill points in this menu. Acquire Skills. New skills can be acquired by spending skill points in the skill menu. New combat styles can be learned through obtaining esoteric text for each style. There are three types of skills, Combat Arts, Shinobi Martial Arts, and Latent Skills. Combat Arts must be equipped to be used, but Shinobi Martial Arts and Latent Skills are always in effect upon being acquired. Okay, Whirlwind Slash and Makiri Counter. Huh, okay. Uh, so I have three points. So I can get this, and I can get this. I cannot get anything else, though. Uh, acquire Whirlwind Slash, a spinning attack that can hit several enemies at once. The sharp cut combined with the force of the spin can strike multiple foes and deal damage even when guarded. When surrounded by enemies, the Shinobi technique can cut open a path to victory. Uh, Makiri Counter enables one to counter enemy thrust attacks by stomping down on an enemy's weapon, dealing a large amount of damage to posture. It is nearly impossible to perceive the speed of a thrust, but not for sharp eyes of a shinobi. Very cool. Okay. And then purchase spirit emblems. Uh, Drifting White Paper Doll. Feelings of remorse are not limited to the hearts of mankind. Such a sentiment may even manifest itself in a fleeting, illusory form. Uh, using certain natchez, such as a prosthetic tools, will consume spirit emblems. Um, We'll take one. I'm not exactly sure how these work just yet, but uh, we'll, we'll see. Uh, we've already rested, so we're good. Combat arts are special attack skills based on the strengths of the fighting style they belong to. They must be equipped in the equipment menu to be used and can be learned through the skill menu or found in special esoteric text. RB while holding LB perform equipped combat art. Undying counter, yep, the carry counter. Alright, cool. Okay, so we're going to go travel, not there, to this place, yes gonna show you guys where to find the shinobi prosthetic tool real quick 
And then from there, we will be on our way. All right, so it was right here. So if you get on here, and you go up here. Yeah, dogs, we hear you. It will be on this body right here. And this is where you will find the tool. All right. So now that that's happened, we are good. We are going to... Yeah, yeah, dogs, we hear you. Okay, fucking... Okay. Guess we're fighting them. Woo! Come here, you. There we go. Alright. Just rest here real quick. Take a little damage. Alright, so now we're going to travel back to the outskirts wall. And continue on. as much money as I can just along the way I have been practicing a little bit with my combat hopefully it lives up to standard these guys I can break their stance a little bit with this kill them that way hell yeah all right continue on Also, another thing that I found, there's a door over here that I can't open. It doesn't open from this side, so maybe we'll be able to find out what that is later. Uh, there's a few guys over here. We'll have some fun with them, why not? That guy spotted me. Why not? I mean, it's fine. There we go. There we go, there's one. Boom, there's two. Alright. Get these guys over here. Dead, sweet. And then you, annoying ass. Will you stop banging that damn thing? Alright. He is dead. Sweet. Alright, so we can't get over there from here. So we are only going to have to go down this way. Because I didn't see any other path forward from here. So this is where we shall go. Alrighty. But we don't fuck this up. Hell you! There we go. All right, where from here? Uh, what the hell? What is what is the point of going down here? What the fuck? There's. Are you kidding me? I have to go down- Oh, bro. There's no way. I can't make that. Uh, holy shit, dude. Whew. You would never make that in real life, by the way. You would literally miss it and slip. I don't care how good of a shinobi you are. More gachi and sugar. Sweet. All right, and then we just jump down here. Hopefully we don't take a whole lot of damage. All right, good. Okay. I believe we are on the right path. We should be. Hopefully. All right. What's down here? I do not like this. Enclosed spaces are never a good thing. Especially deep, dark caves. Hmm. 
Oh my god, I'm getting major Tomb of the Giants kind of vibes in here, and I hate it. Don't tell me this is a Tomb of the Giants type of deal. Please, no. Hey. Uh, is there anything here? There is nothing here. Okay. Because it was just to pick up those little sprite thingies. Oh my god, dude. You can't even see the bottom. Is there... A head? Oh. Oh, hello. Hi. Um... I don't know if I want to fight you or not. I don't know if there's ground beneath me, but we're gonna fucking try. There is. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo, 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 yo. Can I... Can I move, please? Jesus. Can I... Can I move, please? Why am I not able to move? What the fuck is going on? Oh my god. Move! Just fucking, fucking run. run. Run, 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 Okay, no. This was a very bad idea. This was a very bad idea. No. I don't think I can beat this guy yet. Holy shit, dude. Okay, this is probably an area that I will have to come back to later because that is fucking terrifying. Yeah, there was that message warning me about the headless, uh... A little while ago. Should have listened to it. Alright, so fuck that area for now. Um, where do we go from here? I'm not sure. Oh yeah, I forgot to equip a combat art. Uh, we'll do whirlwind slash, why not? Uh, okay. Hmm. We also have a homeward idol here we can use because there are no other things that we can use so we're gonna... let's just do the last community idol sick alrighty well we're not going that way because I don't think we're nearly ready enough for that yet alright so I'm trying to think where do I go from here? I don't remember ever seeing another path anywhere. If we go back in here, we'll find it. Oh my god. Yo, do not attack me all at once, please. Holy shit. Fucking hell. There's one. There's two. Three. Oh, sick, I got him. Cool. And then, wasn't there one more guy? There he is. How the fuck did you not hear all that fighting? Beats me, but you know what? I'm not complaining. Alright. So, where the fuck did we go from here? Oh, down here maybe. Yeah, there's another sculptor's idol down there. Okay, cool. 
Alright, my bad. I did not see that before. I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. And I apologize. But at least we found it. I'm gonna rest. Sweet. Alright. This is where we go. What the fuck? Um... Oh, okay? Earthquakes? Very bad. I don't- I don't like that. At all. Alrighty. That was very... interesting. This place is not what it appears to be. Mid-air grappling hook. Oh yeah, I know about that already. I've done that like a bajillion times. I've been stunting, just a little bit. Uh... Ayo? Oh shit, okay. Um... Oh wait, no. I could possibly reach this one. L you. There we go. Boom, got it. Alright. Head up this way. Go here. You got too much dip on your chill. Oh fuck. I can't believe you've done this. Oh my god. That is the biggest fucking snake I have ever seen. What is that? Oh my god! Why is there a big, giant, white snake out of nowhere? What the fuck? Oh my god. Okay. Go, 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 go! Run, 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 run! No! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> run, 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 run! Oh god! Oh my god! Run, 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 run! Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Why did it have to be a big snake? Oh god. Oh, that is terrifying. Okay. Oh my god. Hell no, man. That is fucked. That is so fucked. Okay. How do we get past this thing? Oh. You know, as Indiana Jones once said... Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! <sighs> Bro, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Go away. <sighs> oh my god, dude. This is fucked. This is so fucked. Oh my god, this is so fucked. Holy shit, dude. Move. Move. Oh my god. Hi. Could you, uh, not do that? Be much appreciated. Be very much appreciated. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No. Oh shit. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, this is our time to run. Run, 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 run. Woo. Woo. Oh my god, dude. <sighs> oh 
What the fuck, man? Whose bright idea was it to put a giant fucking snake in this game? Sweet Jesus. Oh my god. I hope we never have to encounter that thing again. That was mortifying. What are we in Australia now? I thought we were in Ashina. Fucking big ass snakes, dude. Okay. Alright, well now that we have that out of the way, we can continue on. Akko Sugar. Sugar candy made in Senpo Temple, sustaining Akko's blessing. Boost attack power for a time. Bite the candy and take the Akko stance to impart its inhuman benediction. Spirits uh, embody excess karma. One must bite down hard in the candy and endure what has been brought to pass. Hmm, pretty cool. Oh. Hello. Hey, yo, it's, it, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay, man. Don't worry. You're gonna be fine. No need to cry. Nope. Just, just, just don't. No. Don't jump. Just stay here. Okay. Is there another? Okay. So there are. There's one big guy. There's. Oh, one, two guys over there. There's him, him. Okay. Oh, no, he's gonna catch me if I do that. <sighs> yep, he, he spotted me. Okay, so we're gonna go around here. Cause fuck that noise. We're gonna go sugar, sweet. Fuck that noise. <gasps> Ooh, there's an- <gasps> Fucking Lord Genichiro? With my young master? What do you have to say for yourself? We managed to drive them back to us, but the Interior Ministry's army is far too He really is a dickhead. Power hungry and all that shit. Alright, so they've caught us. Oh shit! Ooh. Ooh, okay. Got him. There we go. Woohoo! Alright, there's one. We're gonna get this guy. Alright, he's dead. Sweet. Another gunner over here, take care of him. Oh, I missed. Don't worry, we're good. Come here, buddy. Come here. Got him. Time for big guy. Come here. Dude. You, you gotta stop doing the unavoidable ones. Like, it makes you way too easy to hit. More ceramic shards, sweet. Amoeba balloon of wealth. I think I've already gotten one of those. Fairly certain. Heavy coin purse, yes please. Give me all the money. All right. Oops. Let's go this way. And sneak up on him. Oh shit. Never mind. You turn around. Okay. Alright, fuck you, buddy. Let's dance. Oh my god, holy shit. I dodged. Like, I don't know why it told me I didn't. Alright. Okay, how do we use this? Use this real quick. 
Oh my god, how am I not dodging that? There we go. There we go, fuck you. Got him. Boom. Good shit. And we got another skill point. Fuck yeah. Okay, uh, how do we use this, by the way? Uh, pull... Right trigger for sh shuriken throw. Um... Oh. Oh, that's what that... Okay, so I was, I was like, having trouble understanding how that works. So this is, like, the little cross over here in, like, the, the bottom right-hand corner is, like, your ammunition for whatever um, uh, prosthetic that you use, right? Or it's not ammunition. It's how many times that you can use it. So, yeah, I was, like, confused. I'm like, how, how does that work? I'm like, what is that for? So, yeah, okay, that makes much more sense. I'm glad that I know that now. All right. Oh, got a guy over here. I'm gonna take him out. Nice. All right. There's another guy over there next to a dead horse. Is he mourning his friend? Also, I forgot to eavesdrop on the conversation beforehand, before I killed all those guys. My bad. I will be sure to not do that again. I feel kind of bad for killing this dude, but I'm sorry, friend. You shall join your friend in the afterlife, where you can be together once more. Another fistful of ash, sweet, and oh wow, that has a lot of dead bodies. Okay, alrighty. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. anything down here? I'm gonna be searching all over for goodies. There. Ooh, I missed that. I completely missed this. Sweet. A lot of good comes from searching around just sometimes. Oh. Hello? What are you? Uh. Uh. Bye. Uh, okay. <laughs> I didn't mean to knock him off like that, but alright. I hope he didn't have something on him. What the fuck? Is he still alive? What? He's still alive? My boy, how are you still alive? Oh, never mind. Nope, he's dead. <laughs> you had me in the first half, not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, herb catalog scrap. A page torn from the Ashina herb catalog. A compendium of flowers and herbs. Uh, the snap seed naturally glows in uh, ravines and drop valley, uh, deep valleys, my bad. According to denizens of the Sunken Valley, such places are appropriate for offering oneself in marriage to the Great Serpent. If one wishes to become a bride, they must enter the belly of the serpent in the valley. So that's what that thing is. It's just the Great Serpent. All right. Also, why that would be any kind of tradition in marriage is beyond me. That is literal suicide. That is so dumb. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I would never go into a giant ravine with a big ass white snake just for just to get married. Like, I'm sorry, but no. Alright. So what do we got here? More pellets, yes please. Let me guess this is locked. Yep. Alright. What else we got? Whoop. 
nothing here from what I can see. Go up here. Oh, wow. What is this? This looks like a nice place to be. All right. Whoop. Can't go that way. And there's nothing down there that I missed, so... All right. This is where we shall go. Uh, I'm going to heal real quick before I do anything else. I feel like this is a boss battle coming on. Mostly because it's like a really, really big area. And I have the feeling that's going to be a fight, so... Here we go. Hello? Anybody? Yes? No? I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Fistful Ash, nice. What? <laughs> what? Holy shit! Well, nice to meet you, uh, Gyobu. Oh, no, I, I forgot his name. I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you fucking dumb? My name is Kyobu Masataka Oniwa! Holy shit! Oh my god, dude! Oh, okay, okay. Oh my god, okay. No, 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 no. Let me get up on you. Oh my god, holy shit, dude. Jesus Christ. Okay, this guy's gonna be very tough. Alright. Oh my bruh. Holy shit. My god. Alrighty then. That was very quick. He absolutely domed me from the get go. All right, well, we'll try again. Fuck you, Oniwa. <laughs> Come at me, good sir. Oh my god. God, Jesus. Holy shit, dude. This guy's a fucking monster. Come on, guy, come on. Whew. Whew. Come on, come on. Oh, my God. Oh, uh. got me that time. All right, we try again. Oh shit! Ooh, hit him a few times. Alright, come on then, show me then. What you got? Oh my god, oof. Let me hit him with a few shurikens from this distance. There we go.
Come on then, come on then. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Fuck. I had him on the ropes there for a minute. I'm trying to get his pattern down. It's like really hard to do so. This is not your fate. Just yet. <coughs> Rot essence sculptor. Somewhere a pained cough rings out continuously. The man who coughs zealously sculpts statues of Buddha to avoid being consumed by the building flames. Owning this item reduces one's chances of receiving unseen aid. Oh, okay. Dragon Rot. The more one with the power of the dragon's heritage dies, the more a sickness known as Dragon Rot spreads through through the world. Dragon Rot is not caused by resurrection. It has a chance to occur only when the wolf truly dies repeatedly. The more Rot Essence Wolf has, the lower uh, the chances of receiving unseen aid. What? Wow. There's a lot of rules that I don't know about. Damn. Okay, well, dying in this game... Is really a very bad thing because it gives you consequences. What's wrong? <laughs> Dragon rot. The stagnation overflows and spreads a disease that leads eventually to death. What are you talking about? You don't need to worry about me. I'm not normal, you see. It's difficult for me to speak now. Ask Emma about the rest. Um, okay. Emma, any words of guidance? Have you seen the sculptor lately? Yes. He's... All I know is what Dogen told me long ago. That the dragon's heritage can bestow the power of resurrection. However, it is not any ordinary power. Repeated use leads to stagnation, which will eventually reach a point where it overflows. This causes those who do not have the power to become sick. A disease known as Dragon Rot. He knew much about it, but even so, he was unable to determine a cure. Forgive me. Is there a way to treat this Dragon Rot? I do not know. However, it must be stopped. I am unsure, but the first step is to look through my mentor's research and see if I can discover a way. Thank you. Alrighty then. must mean it appears on those who have received the dragon's heritage. Or perhaps it's a symptom. Huh. Goodbye. Alrighty, so dying repeatedly gives other people dragon rot. That's great. That's fantastic. Alright. Um, I don't even know if that is the way that we're supposed to go, because... <sighs> I mean... It probably is. I can beat him. I just have a bad habit of, like, panicking. Especially because of the fact that he's just been, like, dogging me in terms of his combos. So, let's go try again. Okay, so he has that three moves.
There we go. There we go. Ooh! There's one. Got him! There we go. Okay, I'm getting better. Ooh. Uh, where you going, my guy? There we go. Hit him. Another one. There we go. Grapple. Don't have any more pellets? Fuck. Fuck! Wait, no, that's the first time we died, right? Yes! Okay, no, no, no. We're good, we're good. We can still beat him, we can still beat him. Take one of these. Grapple. There we go. Hit him. Yeah! so good. Whew. Memory of Gyobo Oniwa, the battle memory of an extraordinary foe, lingering in the mind of the wolf, commune with the sculptor's idol, and confront memories of battle to permanently increase attack power. Gyobi Masataka Oniwa was keeper of the Ashina Gate Castle. A mechanical barrel, a mechanical metal barrel that can be given to the sculptor to enable prosthetic tool upgrades. Ooh, uh, it appears to have been Made to fit perfectly inside the wrist bone of the shinobi prosthetic. A reinforced core is sure to make a shinobi's fangs even sharper. Sick, man. Prosthetic tool upgrades. Yeah, we know about that already. Uh, reflection of strength. You have defeated an extraordinary foe uh, who can now be faced once again in memory. A uh, reflection of strength can be accessed via the sculptor's idol menu. Very cool. Okay, well, the... Yeah, the memory is kind of like the, um, uh, like when you defeat an enemy in Elden Ring, you get their, uh, remembrance, and if you, um, uh, you turn it in, you can either get their equipment, or you can get, uh, runes. I'm not quite sure if it's like that in this game, but it says it increases your attack power, so it's kind of like the same thing. So I can, I can see where they drew elements of Elden Ring from this game, which is nice, because now it kind of makes sense. I'm just like, oh, this is where this came from, which is great. Oh, I feel so good after beating that guy. That was awesome. I, I made some mistakes, yeah, but I actually did learn, learn his moveset a little bit. But, uh, yeah, we managed to beat him, which is fantastic. Feels fucking great, man. Um, and you know what? That is actually a great place to stop, I think. That is, like, the perfect 
ending that I can think of. Uh, just beating this absolutely amazing guy, this boisterous man. And uh, yeah, we are going to leave it at here for now. So that was certainly like the toughest battle I think I've done so far in this game. I'm interested to see what other cool fights that they have in store later on in the game. Also in combat, I need to be a lot like slower and more methodical when it comes to like enemy movesets because again, I'm just like flailing around doing whatever the fuck I'm like supposed to be doing and it's not helping me, I'm just dying. So like I need to always remember to calm down and take it one step at a time because if you overthink fights, then you're gonna end up dying. And then if you get over, too overconfident and too cocky, then you're gonna end up losing fights too. It's always a slow thing that always, you know, it's like a process that you have to remember. So yeah, that is something that I would be sure to, you know, practice a bit more. And uh, I'll, I'll be sure to, to try that again the next time around we get a boss. But uh, that is where we're going to stop it for today. I wanna to thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new to this channel and you've liked what you've seen so far, be sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. It would help me out and I would greatly appreciate any support. And with that, I'm going to end the video here. I hope that whoever's watching has a fantastic rest of your day, wherever you are at. And to always remember, don't be constant, be dynamic, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care and peace.